Happy Wednesday slash do 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 <laughs> do do day day two day. Uh, look, look, here's a here's a real glimpse into the life of Cheers. Is Bluey's on the telly. Um, welcome to day two of uh, our trip. Um, it's April. Can I just say, yesterday you said welcome to day two, because you got confused as to which day was which. So yesterday was technically day one. Day one. Oh, These are hard. These are hard. Um, anyway, we are on our second kind of day of our lovely trip. It's April 2023, and we are currently, you know, trashing two rooms at Pop Century. Um, we, woohoo! So we've got two inter interconnecting rooms. Uh, Luke and Daisy were supposed to be in that one. Daisy has had enough. Oh, da Daisy is now sleeping in this room. I'm not sure if that's going to be the same now because Daisy worked out um, my superpowers last night. Oh my God. What's my first ability to be able to do like super quick? Sleep. <laughs> I cannot believe it. <laughs> Go on. So, Dan and I sort of went to sleep at the same time last night. Mum was already sleeping. And um, so Dad had the light on. And then he turns the light off. I'm still sort of watching TikToks. <laughs> he turns the light off. I kid you not. 30 seconds later. <laughs> and I'm like, I cannot believe it. Oh, thanks, man. High I five. I cannot believe it. Impressive. <laughs> thanks but very much. I, at one point, like, I couldn't sleep for so long that I just sat up and I looked, I looked over at you and I looked at mum. First of all, could not believe the, like, sheer like vastness of the noise <laughs> and then I looked over at mum and she's totally asleep just so you know you went full Wiltshire then then I looked over at mum we well, looked over at my mum and she was fast asleep I am used I to it. It. I have acclimatised you make it makes you feel safe and protected doesn't it it's like <laughs> once I'm asleep it's all right it's like a lion if I'm trying to get to sleep it's frustrating but once I'm asleep I can sleep through it <laughs> who had fun yesterday at Magic Kingdom oh, what a great day it was a great day so there were so many unexpected highlights, it's difficult to pick one. It's really just... It was so mega. So much fun. It was so much fun. And Tom Sawyer and Island. Tom Sawyer Island. Get over there, it's amazing. It it, we had such a laugh. Um, so this trip, we're on uh, just for a week. Oh, please remember to like and subscribe and do all that lovely stuff. It does help. Um, we're on this trip with our lovely friend, Mr. Adam Hatton. We had the best day yesterday. It was just so easy. We've known Adam for quite a long time now and it's just it's just like having another member of the family along with us it was such a chilled easy day and it was just yeah it was mega anyway the time is coming up for 20 to 8 adam's calling for us but um in a couple of minutes and we are heading to epcot um i think adam's been trying to get some lightning lanes for not lightning lanes some virtual queues for um Guardians of the Galaxy, and we're going to have a proper mix around. And um, are we going to take Percy Pigs with us today? Yeah. yeah. I think we should. So, um, at Epcot, there's an area called World Showcase, and that's where they have uh, people on the cultural representative program. And that's something that I think Daisy might like to do at some point. And when you have all these people there, they're away from home. And um, so, every time we come, we bring something with us, um, always the same thing actually, to drop off at the pavilion. Uh, something that they can get at home but they can't get here and our thing of choice is Percy pigs so we got we got a whole bag of Percy pigs so there we go so we'll be taking those with us um so yeah we will take you lovely lot of course along with us right, we're just waiting for Captain Slow in the other room Daisy you are rocking the outfit come forward work it taught me <laughs> taught me through the outfit new hat new hat I got this in Star Traders yesterday. Yeah. It's so ugly, but I love it. Oh. I just saw him run. Feel the snowman. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> morning, number one. Morning, Father. How are we? Oh, excellent, mate. <laughs> Good morning, Father. Good morrow, travellers. Good morrow to you, sir. Are you ready to embark on a gallivanting adventure across the world today? Going to the World Showcase. We are. Yeah. You had a nice day yesterday. I had a lovely day yesterday. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm ready for today. It's going to be even better because we're at Epcot, which is the best park, as yeah, everyone knows. Park. Oh, we've got um, we've got a uh, virtual queue for Guardians of the Galaxy. So we're on it this morning, fingers crossed. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. What are your thoughts on uh, Pop Century? So oh, we get another Skyliner. Ooh. Thoughts uh, on Pop Century so far? I love it. It's, it's nice to be back. It's definitely, um, it's just nice. You yeah, know? It's nice. Right, first ride on the Skyline River this holiday. 
It looks so lovely. Should have bloody got the fast pass, mate. <laughs> Good length in line. Bit of a line. Yeah, a bit of a line. I hope it doesn't go upside down. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've had to uh, pause Mr. Hatton singing. <laughs> I was singing Monty Python. <laughs> and we're getting on the Skyliner. We were just saying what a lovely design this is and the colour palette and the font and everything and what a wonderful way it is to travel to a park. Right, first ride in the Skyliner and all is well in the universe. We've just hopped off at Caram, Caram, at Caram Beach, at Caribbean Beach. Um, to hop on the other one to Epcot. We've never stayed at Caribbean Beach or actually walked around it. I think I'd like to. I like the colours. Trace, Caribbean Beach. Thoughts? Yeah, I think I've, they've had a big refurb, haven't they, just before Covid. Um, so, yeah, I think it's probably, <laughs> probably alright, but I don't hear much about it. No. Yeah. Alright, that is a very... What's the word I'm looking for? Civilised. Civilised way to travel. Uh, thoughts on the Skyliner? Love it. Love it! Right, uh, this one drops us off at Epcot just by International <laughs> Gateway. The sun is out. And Chase, is it Flower and Garden at Epcot? Oh, I'm well excited. Love Flower and Garden. Hi. There you go. Oh, oh, so. yeah. Thank you. Oh, oh, so thank you. So when you if you've got DVC, and this is really, really sad, if you've got DVC, when you go in, the light lights up a different colour, and it says, welcome home, yeah. and I love it. It's so cool. <laughs> so we're walking through the UK pavilion, and, extra, extra. <laughs> and all the topiaries oh, are out. <laughs> One pound fish, anybody? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the rest of the team. Yeah, what a character. And it just looks... Awesome. We've done Flower and Garden once before, but this will be the first time for Trace. Right, it's coming up for five to nine, and uh, so we're still officially in early hours for resort guests. Uh, Flower and Garden is looking awesome, but before we take in all of the uh, flowery stuff, we are going to try and get a cheeky ride on Test Track, because Luke has been very unlucky with Test Track of late. Yeah, last holiday, tried to go on it twice, broke both times. Yeah. Not well, this time though. No, not this time. Touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. Touch wood, touch wood. Right, we are heading on to Test Track. 15 minute wait, that never happens, that's going straight in my basket. What Adam doesn't know is Luke takes this overly seriously. Good luck. Takes it seriously. Very seriously. We're just in it for the fun, aren't we, Daze? Yeah. You want to be like hot hatch? Hot hatch? Whatever you want. Oh, yeah. So, um, how serious does Luke take this? It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> we got for a sparkly paint job. How are you feeling about your car at the moment? Let's see how uh, Sir Sweats a Lot is getting on over there. <laughs> right. Luke's still. Sorry about this. <laughs> Luke's working out maths in the corner. <laughs> so embarrassing. So sad. I'm loving it. Can we have a side view on that again? You've got monster truck. Oh wow, Daisy, I love it. Right, we've done ours. Um, yeah, we finished. What? We did it. <laughs> Big moment for turn one there. <laughs> yes! Now let's see how your vehicles compare when it comes to their efficiency. We, were, we weren't even trying for that one. Brilliant! Well done, Daisy. Good job. Where are we? You didn't make on that one. Oh, no. Commencing responsiveness test. Oops. <laughs> go, 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 go! After you've designed your car, there's like an area that you come into and you can get your scores. Uh, Luke, well done, you did pretty well there. On a serious note, you love that ride. It's, in, it's imprinted on you since you're a little boy. Yeah, did you have a nice time? Why do you like that ride so much? 
uh, as a kid, I think it was like one of the first sort of fast rides that I did, and also I've always loved cars. And as a kid, I was just like wanted to do it. And I remember being really scared of the line because it usually about crash testing, and I thought we were going to have a massive crash. <laughs> But we didn't, and since then it's always been like Epcot. I've always associated with this ride. Yeah. And I, I always love the car show. It's like everything about it was great, and I'm just like, when it works, I'm taken back to when it works. Before, before I was a real life race. <laughs> I think that's what it is about, isn't it? It just takes you back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I've got all my my childlike innocence back. <laughs> that was mega. And as you exit out, there's like a car showroom. Back in the day, you could actually get in the cars. And have a play around but I'm not sure if it's because of you know COVID and bits and pieces that you can't and really really cool shop as well you've driven one of those haven't you oh, yeah. nice what is it uh, it's a Chevrolet Camaro I don't know if that's ZR1 ZL1 which I drove but it's uh, they're really good oh they had terrible fuel consumption <laughs> really yeah we did a day like instructing at Abingdon and like you know I drove it I did a couple hot laps in it and then like coached some people to drive it and by the end of the day the average miles per gallon was four. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> it, was just, it was four and a half so you know you've got to take those halves. <laughs> Even though Adam doesn't allow him in his score system yeah four and a half miles per gallon <laughs> but it was really good it was comfy aircon works great in them and it's really fast that's a great noise. and it looks awesome and it looks awesome. So yeah if you've got anybody that's into cars you know we had loads of these rattling around our hotel room back in the day and building cars and yeah it's awesome. Okay, so, you know, we're on holiday with the lovely Mr. Hatton, who is obviously Mr. Oh, yeah. Mr. Disney. Um, and what's really nice, we've entered into World Showcase, and I've always maintained that you turn left straight away. Turns out that's what all the experts do as well. We turn left and we're going to Three uh, Caballeros. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm, not, I'm not signing up to that. <laughs> Don't turn left, go right, go to Canada. That's the best way around. But we just turn left, we're going on the Three Caballeros. We're turning left, but then we're going straight back to... We're swimming against the stream. We're, we're, not, we're not going round the world <laughs> left. We're doing it my way. Sure. Let's go I'm left. Signed up for this. We're going left. Mexico first. Still your favourite, Coco? What? Is it your favourite? Yeah. yeah. Makes you cry. It does make me cry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You having a nice time, darling? We had a lovely time. So chill. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't so it? So chilled. And flowers are just like. Because you've not away. seen Flower no, and Garden before. I, I didn't make the holiday that you did Flower and Garden, and I just love it. It's just beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. And the care that the, the cast members who work in that area are looking after the plants are taking. There's crimping and weeding and picking out the bits. This one just to make sure it's all lovely. It's just like, it's so great. Right, heading on to the three Caballeros. Uh, uh, We've only been riding, like we've been coming here for a while, but we've only been riding this sort of last five or six years. We only discovered it about, yeah, about five years ago. Very nice. Awesome <laughs> oh yeah, you get like one of those black oh, Daisy, that's <laughs> Daisy. It does look really good. Kind of a vibe. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del barco. Coming up for 10 o'clock, weather's lovely, company's even better, nice and chilled here and we have just been called up for our, um, our go on Guardians, so I think we're all doing it as well, so all five of us are doing it, so Tracy's doing it as well, so full team on Guardians. Trace, yeah. we're doing it? I'm doing it. Good girl, are you excited? Yeah, I am actually. Any preference on song? Yeah, like September, but I'm kind of open to anything really. Nice. We had Disco Inferno last time, which was awesome. Yeah, so every time you ride this, there's like a soundtrack playing, which is like a big part of the ride. I really want Iran. Um, so yeah, but it really adds to the ride, but every time it's different. The spaceship is looking great. The monorail is going past. I'm having the best day. What do Terrans call planets? Many fascinating life forms, Terrans, still believe that these UFOs are flown by. 
Nova Corps pilots fly by mechanical motion capture. Please play face so we grow them back. And they grow up so fast, especially when you water them. It would appear so. Citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? You're excited, Trace. I am. I'm a bit nervous, but I am excited. How was that? That was brilliant. I loved it. I think knowing what to expect helps this time. Yeah. I kind of like knew it was going to be okay, so I kept my eyes open. Not eyes open anymore, but I kind of like looked at the track a bit more rather than stuck around. Yeah. It's a proper roller coaster. It's a proper roller coaster. I love it. I love it. I'll do it again and again. Nice. Right, so that ride is Tracy approved. You know, second time round, I loved it. I enjoyed it the first time, but I was a bit like shocked, I think, by how much of a roller coaster it was the first time round. And this time I just enjoyed it. And you got your song? Got September. Couldn't have worked. Wished for anything better. Nice. I suffer really badly with motion sickness. Um, Every time I've ridden that in the back, I've been fine. I do have to focus on my breathing, lots of deep breaths, and pay attention on what's going around. Keep your eyes open, but yeah, that ride is awesome. Time for a coffee. Right, what, 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 what did you order? I've got a beetroot risotto. <laughs> it's match your tea stuff. Tastes like uh, brass clippings. I kind of like it. Nice? Yeah. Nice, Daisy, what do you go for? Also, we're just waiting for mine. I've just gone for a regular old thingy. Adam, that looks like pudding. What did you go for? Pudding. Pudding. <laughs> nice. Um, a grande caramel coffee and ice frappuccino with like ice and cream and put caramel bits on it. Really that looks awesome. Hello. Hello. What have you got there? Hey, you're on your passes. Um, Super service from Sebastian at Guest Relations. We thought we thought it, we weren't going to be able to upgrade our UK passes to annual passes, but we have been told before that it wasn't possible, but now it is possible, and now we have these, so it's all possible. Everything is possible. I think it just depends. Sometimes some of the cast members aren't as up to speed with the changes, and what you can and can't do. So it really is. If you get no, always ask somewhere he, else. It's only because he checked. Yeah. Yeah. He was great. Yeah. Um, um, you needed to have the proof of address. Yeah. How much was it? Uh, so to upgrade from the UK 14 day ultimate pass, uh, it was $350 each for the standard bit, but we added memory maker to one. Yeah. So yeah, I think in total with all taxes, it was about eight, just over $800. So if we use those on the next trip, we're in, we're in credit. Amazing, and they last for a year. Yeah. I'm well yeah, happy. Really yeah. Because the DBC, Membership was only just for Keith and I, so we do our hour two, um, and then we'll sort of work out as and when the children are coming with us or not coming with us, or what they're doing, because their plans might be changing. So we just thought we'll just add them in as and when. Amazing. Right. I've totally forgot what this is. Space chauffeur. <laughs> I was going, Space Mountain, Mission Space. And, uh, space, space something. Space something, and space something. Oh, we're heading on up. Hey, we <laughs> look a bit grumpy. <laughs> hey, did you enjoy that? That was funny, yeah. So good. And I got a screen that wasn't quite working with the touch screen, so we couldn't always choose exactly what we normally choose. We just had to choose what it might like choose. We went up with health, extreme sports. It was hilarious. It was such fun. How was yours? It was good. My picture, I didn't have any eyes. No eyes. 10 minutes standby for Nemo days though. That's going straight in my basket. Going straight in my basket. Ooh. I think it's going to be a Christopher. Christopher, Christopher Pratt. A what? Chris Pratt. No. Chris Pine. No. Chris Evans. Christopher Walkon. Oh, how foolish of me to forget. That didn't work out, did it? So Adam's on his own. I'm on my own. Mum and Dad have had an argument, so Mum's with us. Uh, you... We've got a cosy clam. <laughs> the cosy clam, the squashy. You can't explore that Nemo. I'm trying to be a any minute. Nemo! Oh, science freak, there's no one to know. Whoa! Right! 
totally stop. <laughs> you can do the Here's what you do. Stay in your seats while Crush Man sees what he can do to get you moving. Stop playing games. Games? I love games. Ooh, I'm thinking of something pink and bouncy that looks like a balloon. Ah, jellyfish. <laughs> soaring it's currently saying a 50 minute wait none of us believe that it's not 50 minute wait it's not busy today no it's not busy today right we've decided to bail haven't we we have didn't move for a bit did it yeah and we're all a bit hungry and yeah. we want to get more we're all a bit hungry and we just want to go and eat some food yeah i think we're gonna, that's do what we're gonna do living with the land first maybe yeah yeah, yeah i think that's the plan and then some non i'm very hungry i am really excited for some flower and garden food. Yes, we've Thanks. seen some bits that we like the look of. Yeah, um, there are a few things on my list. Yeah. I want violet lemonade. Yeah. The um, tempura shrimp. Oh, yep. Yeah. The scampi poutine. Oh. Yeah, right. And frushy. Nice. I really fancy that brie. Was it brie or camembert? Oh, it was brie, but it looks so good. It does look good. Yeah, right, living with the land, boat ride, is a five minute wait. Literally straight on, love it. The plants and animals that have learned to survive. Yay! Humans have had one of the most profound effects. But our efforts to produce accountable harvests and still increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Right. Living with the land, that is nice and chilled. Nice and chilled. Oh, yeah, I love that. It was a real. I think it's longer. We said this last time. I think we've done it years ago, and it didn't have as much. Whether they just do a different route, I don't know what they do. It might just be a weird memory, but it feels really like a substantial long ride. It's just a nice so chill. Relaxing. So chilled, and it's lovely because this time it's themed with the flower and garden, so more pretty go stuff in there as well, which is really nice. Yeah. And the plan now is to head over to World Showcase and eat our way around the world. Have a look. Oh, and the monorail. Right, we're at Pineapple Promenade. And I think we're just going to go for Violet Lemonades here. <laughs> How is it? Gone to a place. You've gone to a place. Let's have a look. It looks lovely. Really good. I've gone for a spicy hot dog with plantain chips. What? You can have a bite. Go for it. A very delicious H2 and O. Nice. How's the hot dog, mate? Really good. It's got like spicy mayo on it. Nice. Yeah. Spicy hot dog, thumbs up, that's spicy. Yeah. Yeah, plantain chips are nice. Very spicy. Yeah, like it. I really like this. And that's the back, it's just a placemat. That's seven dollars ninety nine. I think that's pretty good value. That is nice. Hey. Right, we couldn't find a bin, so we've had to settle with a table. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy, what are these? These are the Impossible Olympias from Char and Chalice. Lovely, and we have some Impossible Short Rib. Rib? Oh dear. Short rab. Short rab. Short rab. Short rab. Short rab. <laughs> and what have we, have we got? Gone for the poutine? Gone for the poutine. What sort of poutine is it? Just a traditional. Just a traditional. Nice. Nothing fancy. Of course I will. Luke's going down the short rib. It's weird how they do that. Really? Is it really ribby? Well, it's just really meaty. Yeah. But there's like a really good, uh, really wonderful, flavourful rub very mm -hmm. good on it. It's, uh, it's flavour. It's a good. Good that, plate that as well. Actually, I'll tell you what, that's that's really like a little that's that's a meal. That's yeah. meal. How is it, Daze? Tastes like burger. Does it? Yeah, yeah it tastes like burger. Okay. I'm going in like for Adam's poutine. Chips, gravy, cheese curds, salty, it's lovely. That's good. Mmm. I've just tasted the short rib. There's some trickery going on there. That does taste like Tastes like ribs, really, really good. We're gonna grab the shrimps, shrimp and scampi poutine. Right, so this is the shrimp scampi poutine. Uh, it's got artichokes in it. Oh. it. 
I tasted a bit because it fell on my hand. <laughs> but there's a lot of food there. Adam's making a mess. I'm saving it for later. Nice. <laughs> it's creamy, it's, like, it's leaky. It's like the insides of a fish pie on chips. Right. All winners so far. The other thing that's really cool is when you go and uh, the bit where you collect your food, there's just a whole sort of area with ice waters on. So, and it's not like the swampy fountain water that you get from the fountains. So the it's nice, isn't it? So uh, it helps have some ice water. It's yummy. Stay hydrated. Ah, oh, loving the pizza pan topiaries. And on the other side, awesome. Right, we're fast approaching the England Pavilion. It is literally here. UK. UK, we're gonna drop off some pigs and uh, spread some joy. If you're gonna bring treats to the UK Pavilion, don't bring chocolate, because it'll probably melt by the time you get here. <laughs> yeah, good, yeah. Classy pigs are a good one. Classy pigs are a good one. These yeah. are gonna be perfect, they're gonna be like, yeah. yeah. Right, pigs dropped off, and the lady that we dropped them off with, I think she, you know, I think she was kind of needed them. She was about to cry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, Karma topped up and it, you know, it's made me feel all warm and fuzzy. Aw, oh, Minnie's out. Right, heading into France. There was, was you? like a toasted ice cream brioche thing that we've, uh, Daisy's had before. I never tried it, I'm excited to try it. Fromage. <laughs> it's not fromage. Baguette. <laughs> no. Escargot? Yeah, no. Ah, no, oui, oui, come on. Oui, anglais. Ah, le Angleterre. Nope. Tu es <laughs> Right. Adam's just got some bits from the French pavilion. Ah, is this braised beef? Yeah. Braised beef. Uh, I like the fact that with the fish pie and the braised beef, we're definitely going for winter warmers on what is a very warm day. Tracy, uh, getting shambonged. Well, yeah, I, they did a peach version of this at the Food and Wine, which I loved. Yeah. This is their flower and garden version, which I think is pear liqueur. I can't really taste the pear liqueur. It's a slight hint of something fruity, but it's a bit indistinguishable. It's very nice, and no. it's sparkling wine on a hot day, and I'm loving it. Loving it. And is this a goat's cheese croissant, Adam? Goat's cheese croissant with something else and something else. Uh, nice. Solid. So we've all tried the uh, croissant with goat's cheese, it was a winner winner. I think everyone's rated that one a four. Adam's just gone into the braised beef and everyone is nodding and ooing and ahhing. That's awesome. Yeah, they're smashing it out of the park today. Everything we've tried has been really, ordinarily there'll be something that was just like, I wasn't too sure about that. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, everything so far has been four minimum, hasn't it? Mmm. Topiaries of Lumiere and Lockboy, Cogsworth, maybe? Luke Pullen, Japanese shop, one of your favourites. I love it, I love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finally cave in, I'm gonna get a squishy cat. Right, if you've never been in here, if you're gonna go into one pavilion, why should it be the Japanese pavilion? Because the Japanese pavilion, my friends, has a really large, wacky shop. First of all, it's a lovely place to be. It feels like you're walking into Harrods. Um, and it's just cool, you can get loads of wacky stuff. And it's just a vibe, it, all of it's a vibe. Just come here, do what you want, rock out, have a party, and uh, maybe learn a little bit of Japanese kanji whilst you're along the way. Right. Join me. <laughs> Let's go and find some weird things. Mm. Right, these are our old favourites. So you got a cat holding a donut, baguette, praying corgis, oh, cat in a prawn hat. <laughs> I love that. That's so cute. That is cute. I think it's a something squidgy. Feel it. Squidge it. I'm gonna get oh. one. I actually might get one. It is that. a dog in a duck costume. They used to have cat ones of it. Now they've only got sheep at Is that what these dogs are? I don't know. Yeah, don't maybe. Know. Maybe. What do you do? Mm. So squidgy. Same squidgy. I think they're looking for pearls over here. Japanese diorama. <laughs> and then you've just got loads and loads and loads of crazy sweets. What have we got? Strawberry Kit Kat. 
and then you've got this little sort of breakout room with more things Japanese. I love, I love it. This is, this and actually the China pavilion as well is really cool. But I think just because how sort of kitsch and crazy it is, I think it's the Japanese pavilion for me. Like, what are these? Oh, they're like, they got like commercial scaffolding bits in it. Uh, cute can be serious business where the warning signs or construction barriers, there's nothing that Japan can't make kawao. Even the military has its own adorable mascots. So, are these our mascots? Oh, look. Yeah, so there's a picture behind. You might not be able to see it, but it's two of these with some, these are like petitions. Love it. We were just talking about you. <gasps> all good things, all good things. Do you know what you're saying about me? Again, look at Keith's magic band. It's rubbish. It's look at Adam's. Rubbish. It's brilliant. Isn't it rubbish? <laughs> <laughs> right, it's coming up for half past three. It is very warm. Everyone's complaining except for me because I'm toughing it out. It's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, there's, if you have DVC, there is like a lounge you can use. So um, I think sometimes it is subject to availability if there's space up there. So we're keeping fingers crossed. I'll fight someone. <laughs> Adam's kick, gonna kick off. Um, so we are gonna go and hang up, hang out in the uh, DVC lounge, get some aircon and some drinks. Okay, we're heading in, and the DVC lounge is kind of well. It's this bit, bit up here, which is above Figment. Oh, didn't have to wait, which is nice. And the aircon, you can feel on the way up. Right, it should be raining now, according to Adam's super expensive app. Not, <laughs> not happy. <laughs> um, and we're having a much, didn't realize how much we needed a little downtime. And um, there's like a Coke freestyle machine over there and some little snacks and bits and pieces. And yeah, we're just all gathering our thoughts and just put the aircon blowing up here. It's, it's very nice. Right, I feel fully recharged and rested um, after that. How was your lounge experience? It was lovely. It was. Well Daisy, needed. Daisy, your lounge experience? Oh, very nice. Very nice time. Where are we going now? Flutterby Gardens. Flutterby Gardens. You'll enjoy it. It's really, really great. Okay, all right, enough. Right, so if you need a gap field, uh, there's a plant that can do it. So it's actually the desert cassia, also known as Senna polyphila. I love it in here. Yeah, the music is so cool. There's some caterpillars on this one. Winnie the Pooh's out. It is 10 to 5. We've got dinner for quarter past 5. But figments of 5 minute wait, so we're heading on. Right, just gone five o'clock and there's no one in here for the meet and greets. So uh, one of Luke's racing rivals, Vanellope's over there, so we're going to get our pictures done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was such fun. I like the way Daisy... Are you going to tell them that you nearly cried? I didn't nearly cry, it was just the, the young girl that went up. The yeah, the interaction, yeah, it was just... Really it was really cute. Yeah, there was just... Yeah, it was just, uh, it was just it's wholesome and lovely and all that Disney is, it's just, yeah. Yeah. It's got me a bit as well. So yeah. Sorry. And also, uh, Daisy threw Luke under the bus. <laughs> whilst she was like, 
Luke races cars too. I know, and she was a big inspiration for my racing career as well. <laughs> you know, I'd stay up late just watching, you know, Vanellope Von Sweet's, you know, overtake compilations on YouTube. <laughs> Try to emulate that race craft. It's not going well. So what's it like meeting a meeting an idol? Do you know what it was weird? Because we both sort of shared a look of like game recognises game. I think it was two athletes at the top, you know, at the very top of our careers, at the peak, and I think there was that mutual respect, which was really, really cool to see. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that comes across uh, in, in the footage as well. <laughs> right, coming up for five past five, and we are heading over to Coral Reef for dinner. Never eaten there before. Are you excited? I am excited. I'm going to pick, I'm going to point at the fish that I want to eat as it <laughs> swims around there. Like, oh, that one. Yeah. How much? <laughs> that is a bit strange. How much for that one? But I'm really excited to eat here because I've um, never even been in there. Right. Just checked in. We are heading in. Ooh. <laughs> We've all made the same noise. Everyone just went, ooh. Right, so we're just going around the corner for a fa Ooh, it's fan. This is fancy. I didn't know what to expect. First impressions, not what I was expecting. This is very nice. You can request to have a table by the window, but you might have to wait longer for that. Right. So, I forgot to do, ask, if I'm, if I'm honest. Uh, do you know what? I think because we're eating fish, and like there's, I, I feel bad. I'm, I'm, a shark flying. And there's a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it's very cool. No, I, I like our table. But it's tiered, so you you, you can see it wherever you want. Yeah. Yeah, well, it looks good. Right, the food has come out. Luke and I have gone for shrimp and grits. Looks and smells fantastic. Mr. Hatton, what have you gone for? Salmon. Nice. Preso, what have you gone for? Same Santa. Nice. And Daisy, you've gone for? I've got the Martin Marmot. It's really good. Awesome. It's 20 past six. And we're going to head over to Soaring, see if we can get on Soaring. Uh, that restaurant, you five out of five. 20 past six? Yeah. I thought you said it was 1926. It's 1926. About 100 years off, We've but close. travelled back in time. <laughs> we're just trying to find the DeLorean, which has parked up. And uh, we're trying to get some um, plutonium to run the uh, flux capacitor. <laughs> can we go see Walt Disney? Can we go see Walt Disney? <laughs> um, we are going to go over to Soaring. See if we can get on that. But that restaurant, five out of five, absolutely loved it. 40 minute wait, we're heading in. Amazing as, as ever. Yeah, it bendy. We were on the wrong seats to get the full impact, so yeah, the Eiffel Tower was a bit bendy, but you know, it's yeah, it's good. And there was a little boy next to us. It might have been his first time on it, but every he was just like hands out grabbing stuff. Yeah, it was so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and every time, like, all the little jumpy bits, he was like, Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it was just, just lovely. Right, we've just been in the Canada shop. Yeah. Lovely lady in there. And you've yeah. done some pin trading. I know, I've got a new little strawberry pin. Nice. I, it was cute. I like this little Canada area. I like the totem poles. It's just really cool. Now, we did originally go in that shop because we thought it was going to rain. So, we've been in there for a little while. It hasn't rained. Stepped out. Started to rain. We're going to see how far we get before we get rained on. Right, we're just walking through the <laughs> French pavilion, which is just really, really cool. Um, and we're going to see if we can get on Ratatouille. How lovely is this? Super nice. The queue said. Did the queue say 40 minutes? 50. And we are here in about 37 minutes, so eee, thumbs up. Uh, 
That's one big thing. <laughs> I've ridden that ride a couple of times now and every time I ride it I like it more there's so much detail the smells all the little bits and pieces you got splash with water I love that ride I like that ride yeah it's really good Trace you enjoy that I really like that yeah it was pretty good fun yeah enjoyed that it's mega daisy rest is your favorite film it's brilliant isn't it Right, we were going to be hanging around for fireworks, uh, but it's raining and there's lightning in the area, so we don't think that they're going to go ahead. So we are going to walk back to get on the bus. Um, ooh, lightning! So we're going to walk back to get on the bus, uh, but that means if the fireworks do start, we can double back and get on it. If they don't start, we're first on the bus back. How good does Lumiere look? <laughs> Right, oh, oh, see the lightning in the background. Yeah, there we go. Um, they haven't called it yet, and I think they're still saying that the fireworks are going, are going to go ahead. I don't think they will, because uh, if there's lightning kicking off, as you can see behind, oh wow, this is awesome. Uh, well, not awesome, because the uh, fireworks are going to be cancelled, uh, but it's drizzling, even if they did go ahead. I don't want to be sat there in the drizzle. So we have decided to call it a day, so we're going to head back to the resort. So yeah, it's coming up for nine o'clock. I feel like we've got everything, we just had a really good day. Met some lovely people um, and yeah, it's just been awesome. So, we put balls all lit up, so we are now gonna get the bus back to the resort. Right, just gone five past 10, we're heading back to the room. Picked up some chocolate peanuts from the quick serve and some waters as well. Daisy and Luke just had ginormous refrigerator pickles. Did you eat them all? Come now. You're a big fan though. I do love them. I Mine was a bit gerb. Luke's was a bit gerb. <laughs> you know when you bite into a pickle and it's just not quite as crunchy as you expect it to be. It's got a little bit of squish. <laughs> you know, I don't like that. It was still nice, but the only way you can describe <laughs> that feeling is gerb. <laughs> gerb. Gerb. That's your Brian David Gilbert right there. Yeah, it was uh, strange. Strange. I didn't finish it. I ate most of it. <laughs> but it got incredibly gerby at the bottom. I'm out. <laughs> We are all back in the room, ready for, well, kind of an early night, not really, it's like 10 past 10, we are all a bit knackered. Thank you so much for following along today. <laughs> We've had such a wonderful day, and um, yeah, tomorrow we are off to Animal Kingdom because Adam has been planning uh, Adam's magical day of fun. So we've got no idea what it is. Uh, he's calling for us at eight o'clock, and we will find out what it is tomorrow, but well excited. Um, Highlight for me, I thought the restaurant was really good. The shrimp and grits was one of the best meals I've had. Well, we've, we've really lucked out with the food so far on this holiday. Have we eaten anything bad yet? It's no, great. it's all been really good. Mm. Right, so here is our bill from Coral Reef. So this is where we had dinner. Um, we only had main courses um, and soft drinks. And we also used the DVC discount, which was 10%. So after all of, all of that, that was 169.42 and we left a tip um, so yeah that was I think for the quality of food and you know you're on Disney so everything is more expensive Disney tax, Disney tax but the food was absolutely excellent one of the best meals we've had or I've definitely had on on Disney property so yeah I was happy with that oh my god how good was that shrimp poutine oh yeah like oh, the food around oh my god. food and white or the um, flower and garden festival yeah we have eaten very well today mm. So thanks again for watching and um, we'll see you next week. So stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Cheers is.